Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today I just realised that uh, Ikit Claw uh, is sat here in a in a lovely uh, elven settlement. At least he was until we, you know, kicked all of his kind out of there, and uh, probably scrubbed really hard. But still, it's not. Um, well, it's not Lisbon Tower, is it? Nah, nah. Sickening, sickening. Anyway, fuming, uh, fuming serpent next. That's more our kind of speed, but anyway, uh, yeah. So, it must be very confusing. Turn up and there's a bunch of rats in a high elf thing in Lustria. It's like, yeah, great plan is in a mess. Uh, right, so yes, we've done a bunch of things in the last episode, uh, but I didn't. I didn't uh, put Beast Driver up one more level. So anyway, uh, yeah, we've taken three Curse Peak. Uh, all that's left of Skrulk's Empire is uh, mine of the Bearded Skulls. Uh, which is, yes, mine, mine, yes, yes. And, uh, yeah, he's just he's just sat around. It's really weird. But Mechanigear has got himself into action and is uh, is moving to attack. I hope he attacks Hualotl because um, I think that might be slightly weaker garrison than this plus this, hopefully. Um, I hope he attacks Hualotl because that would be a nice way for me not to have to confederate because I don't really like the confederation uh, debuffs that my faction will get and what on earth I'm so glad that I got a uh, non-aggression pact with these guys even if they are oh that's also kind of weird it's not it's not a uh, raiding encampment stance that these guys have even though they're clearly like an orc thing it's just a normal encampment stance that's amazing they're not even raiding me that's really cool Anyway, uh, yeah, Icky Claw's over here. He's being a pain, but, uh, and this place will rebel, and so will this one. So that's probably going to be one, two, three, four, five settlements gone. So that'll be cool. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be exciting. Uh, so that's where the rebellion's going to happen, and this one could be easily taken by Scrog. So do I try and build up any of them? I'm thinking no, because I'm just going to have... Actually, how many turns are it going to take? A couple turns of attrition. Ooh. Alright, well, a couple turns of attrition to get to the mine of the Bearded Skull. Then we can uh, we can push out this way and run back through anything that we lost. I think that's the way we're going to have to play this. I think we just need to keep denying Lord Skrulk anywhere to recruit, basically. Um, keep getting rid of his recruitment options, his recruitment buildings. So that way, there's just a bunch of slaves. That's all we'll have to deal with. Just nothing but Skaven slaves. And I don't think Skaven Slayers can do particularly well against this kind of army. <laughs> they just don't have the armor piercing, you know, to be um, to be technical about it. They have no armor piercing to deal with them. But they also just have crappy stats and no leadership and get terrified easily. And just, it's not going to work. Um, they're just inferior units by every metric. So, and hard counter by the, anything that causes terror because they're bad leadership. So, it's just, yeah, it's bad. But yeah, everywhere's getting angry, obviously. And everyone's got upgrades. We've got a Vortex Ritual, but we clearly know... Uh, state to do that. I am going to try and build that up because the Ultra the Horned Rat's going to get attacked next. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to have Gorok do a lap. Okay, he's just going to do a lap and clean up the stuff that's been knackered. Same way that um, uh, Ratok is going to do the same. Then they'll probably both end up here and march the old ones in Oshal and I can re-declare war on these pesky, uh, these pesky Dark Elves, you know. It'll be fine. And I guess I'll upgrade that. No, I won't. We might lose so much that it's not a good idea. Okay. Okay, please end the turn. Thank you. Yep, he's attacking. He's attacking, finally. Have it. Have it. He did actually just raise it to the ground, didn't he? He actually raised that to the ground. Or else he wouldn't be stood outside. What is he doing? The absolute lunatic. Anyway, it means there's just uh, Hellkeek here now. They can attack Whackmole Crater at any time. So, yeah, we're going to lose all that. That's fine. I just want to deny them the territory. Like I said, we are just... It's like a scorched earth policy. All right, that's all we're doing. Okay, so he's attacking there now. Uh, wow, really? We can win that? Wow, yeah, the Croc scores apparently. It likes them. All right, bye then. That's cool. Excellent. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Let's build that up. Uh, oh my god, we're on... Ugh, god, that's real bad, actually. How many How many trade agreements did we have? It's only that one. And that's worth that much, huh? 
That was apparently worth a heck of a lot. Like a heck of a lot of money. How surprising. Although Kotosotek is still down here. Holy cow. I had no idea they were down here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. You want to pay me? I'm happy to pay me that. No, maybe not. Uh, counter offer? No. My counter offer is no. Payments? Just give me a bit of money. Okay, good. Need some money every turn, too. Get a lot of trade. Uh, I could trade with the Court of Libaris, but I don't want to, because I will want to scrub Lustria clean of uh, undeath. I don't like undeath. It's uh, it, it, It's got a horrible taste to it. Doesn't doesn't taste good. Uh, so let's upgrade that a smidge, and let's go attack Fuming Serpent. Please tell me you can get there in a turn. You can't get there in a turn. Oh, are you kidding me? Maybe you can here. Either way, it's going to take two turns, so I may as well give it a go. Excellent. Oh my word, an Ica clause here, and yet the game's just like, don't worry, this will be the easiest thing you've ever done. So I think we've got to fight it, because it's Ica Claw again, you know. We've got to, we've got to fight him again. Oh, yeah, no, I'm walls on this settlement. Cool. This should make things rather exciting. Uh, do you want to blob up like a psycho boy? Maybe is the answer to that. Maybe. Yeah, you in the middle. You guys also in the middle. You guys on the outside. And all right, let's shove over on it. Let's be honest. There's no, there's no, there's no real finesse to this. It's, it's just run forwards like a crazy person. Okay, that's just that's how it is. Okay. You guys head around that way. Oh, that's storm vermin on that side. Okay, never mind then. I don't want to get in a fight with a bunch of storm vermin. That'd be uh, rather upsetting. Wouldn't like that one bit. No, I would not. Uh, we still got a little dinosaur uh, summon, so I can still place that on top of rattling guns, which is adorable. I mean, that one thing that's very threatening. Although I mean, there are clan rats and storm vermin like all around it, but still. All right, come on, lads. Come on. Take your time, why don't you? Good. Boop. Whenever you're ready. Come on. Come on, space dinos. Space dinos, activate. You're going to break so fast, aren't you? Oh, good, yeah. Yeah. Lightning your own boys. Thanks. That yeah, works for me. All right. All good. All right, come on, boys. Come on. Everybody in. Uh, oh, at least that's doing quite well. Cool. Uh, ah. I'm pretty sure he just shouted, Got Hash. Which is fine, you know. You know what? It's not fine. This is not the time for that, okay? It's just not the time for that. It's just not that time. Okay. This is going to be horrible if they decide to actually uh, hit us here. Where are all of those storm vermin? I mean, seriously, I don't know where any of them are. There's some. Good. Oh no, that's going to hurt. Although they went there rather than here, which is surprising. So, thanks, I guess. Okay, good. You guys are going to struggle a bit back there, I think. So, let's hit one of these. And... Is that? There's clan rats, clan rats. Oh, there are some storm vermin in there. Was that? With halberds. Yes, it was. In that case, let's wipe them all out. Now, don't die. Good. I think that... I think that worked. And kablooey. Wow, there goes like all of those storm vermin. That's very satisfying. I am a big fan of that. That was that made me very happy. Bunch over there too. Alright, more storm vermin over there as well. Uh yeah, let's let's just put dinos on them. Perfect. 
Okay, good. Go for them, please. Alright, you go kill Ikit Claw, yeah? You remember him. Okay, still a bunch of storm bourbon in there. Which I'm not happy about. They're naughty, naughty boys. Uh, eh, that went well. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, this is going nice. That more storm bourbon over there. It is. It is. They're everywhere, I swear. Uh, is that... Ah, that is Ikit Claw getting, getting attacked. Lovely. In that case, uh, let's go with one of those. Oh, come on. I can't even tell I'm clicking on him, honestly. I can't even tell. Those night runs, they're doing great. Good job, feral cold ones. Good job. Proud of you. Oh, he's getting wrecked. That's perfect. Uh, uh, God, I have no idea. What next? Yeah, I guess hit them a bit. It's not really a big hit. Doesn't need to be. Because it looks like they're getting wrecked. Okay. Come on, boys. Alright, how are things looking? Yeah, well, with all the terror and everything, I thought this would get wrapped up sooner. No, no, they're still... Still in the fight, apparently. Our enemy is still in the fight. Uh, Alright, you guys. Come over this way. You can keep chasing them off. And keep chasing Ikit Claw, because he's been a naughty boy. He knows it. And, uh, yeah, those clan rats getting dealt with... And I guess let's hit with one of those. I know it's it's a it's an upgraded one, but still. Oh, no, no, they're gonna try and run away. That's a shame. It's a shame. It's an upgraded one, but like, so what? There's there's nothing else to attack really, except what some Skaven slaves. Oh no! What a waste! I could have hit some Skaven slaves. Uh, go on, go, go, get them. There's the army losses. There we go. All right, now everyone, go back to your holes in the ground. Actually, you know what? Don't go in a hole in the ground. It depends. If it's a dead end, go in it. You know what? Maybe just everyone climb into here, and I can just, you know, just use it like a big kiln. You know, a big pizza oven, but the pizza's rats, and I'm a big lizard person who eats pizza, lots of pizza. I can't put lizards in there. Literally unplayable. Okay, so they all died in the big pizza oven that is is life and death. Uh, <laughs> the pizza oven that is the circle of life, which makes sense. Pizzas are circular, so you guys cannot argue. I am totally normal. Let's. Uh, I don't know. Do I want to sack it and then take it, or just take it? Um. I feel like maybe the extra money would be good, but uh, they're going to be very angry with me, and now I can't reach it. That, okay, that was a bit annoying, actually. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, that works. That works for me. Extra 10 melee defense. Nice. And for you, my god, how do you still have so much stuff to level that's so good? Like, higher state of consciousness. Extra 25% physical resist, as well as all the magic resist. So much magic resist. And, and missile resist. And the extra lead ship aura is quite nice too. Though not particularly useful. Uh, I haven't even got replenished troops yet. Because replenishment is so high already. Let's do supreme shield the old one. So we can use that more often. Even though I do tend to neglect it a bit. Quite honestly. Uh, hang on. I want to check something. Two settlements. Okay. They still have they still have the one up there. So I'll come back to that. I was going to say once I've liberated these. But I don't have to. We didn't lose any of them. And the Ultra the Horned Rat, I mean, are we going to lose that? Or is this guy just going to run at it and die like the last time? Loki is having to flee, which is brilliant. Quackmole Crater, for all we know, will fight these guys off, because apparently our garrisons are stupid. Um, but yeah, these guys are still going, but they're not going to have very good troops now, which is pretty good. And they might they might take Ocean, they might take Shotel though. They might take Shotel. And we will be suffering attrition here, sadly. I don't think we can... Oh, we can if we can camp, but it'll take far too long. So I'm actually going to just run real, real fast. And hope that it all works out. Oh, it's not going to work out. There's Hellkick there. And Boilerer. 
And these guys are actually fairly close. But yeah, interesting. Interesting. I might be able to take out take out that settlement. And it is just one, isn't it? Yeah, that is their last settlement. You guys are absolute morons, I've got to say. These are the stupidest guys. Although, more uh, more storm vermin, which is definitely problematic. Definitely problematic. Uh, Alright, things are looking good, though. Things are looking pretty good, besides the ludicrous amount of rats everywhere. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Oh, actually, trash. Total trash. So, Quitax can probably deal with it. We can probably deal with it, if I'm honest. Uh, what I might do is actually do the Rite of Resilience as well. So we can get the uh, Batasaurus Warriors again. So let's do that. Because we can have a bunch of uh, rebellions and things attacking us in the next couple turns, and that'll help a lot. Although there's a second stack there. Okay, now I'm thinking that maybe we are boned up here. I'd rather not lose um, lose Quitax, frankly. Although mostly slaves, and they are going to have to attack a wall. And maybe I can defend it, but now I'm thinking I should probably do something about it. So, um, poison attacks sounds nice. I like poison attacks. Armor is good against low tier units for sure. So let's go with that. Recruit a lord. We did it. We got some ancient plaques. You thought it couldn't be done. <laughs> <laughs> and I got them. I got those ancient plaques. And let's get those. And God, we're going to be so skinned. Are we going to be bankrupt? Is that going to bankrupt us? Is that going to bankrupt us? Maybe. Let's do that. This sucks. Oh, this is the worst. Um, I mean, th this is not helpful either. Having this army just sat here. Um... Because like this is a problem. It's these guys. I can't. I can't leave Cheeky Boy alone. Or can I? Like it. It doesn't earn that much money. If it's just the next thing that I have to deal with, then fine. Oh, did I seriously not get military access with you? Well, that's silly, isn't it? And now he doesn't want to confederate because I trespassed. Oh, <laughs> that's sad. Very sad. Oh. Uh, but yeah, if we can uh, get into the cabinet of Melexagor with him, that would be pretty funny. Um, because he does have he does have the Blessed Croxicles, so this might work. Although, um, yeah, I don't know. That's Yeah, it is just a minor settlement, so actually it could be alright. Oh, things are getting crazy. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll be able to take that next turn. And then, I don't know, I don't know. Settlement upgrade available, doesn't matter, Vortex. Settlement upgrade. All the things, settlement upgrade available, enter. Okay, so they're attacking over there. Yeah, okay, okay, we get it. We get it. Defensive Alliance for money? No. Sorry, 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 Huggles. So they are attacking Quitax, so they didn't let me recruit those units. But, if I have a quick look, what's it like? Uh, apparently I'm going to absolutely waste these guys. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> really? Alright, that's nice of him. Okay, let's get... Uh, he doesn't need casualty replenishment, right? Let's go with the money, I suppose. Thanks. That's a bit dumb. Alright. Uh, inspiring presence, why not? Cool. Alright, this is going to rebel as well. Normal. It's pretty standard. Uh, and again, pretty good garrison, so I don't have to worry too, too much. Okay. This place has a rubbish garrison, though. That's the place it does need to worry. But first, Fuming Serpent. Good. This is mine now. Now everyone be happy. Be happy before I get mad at you. Good. Uh, so pretty huge, um... Uh, corruption. But it's going down very quickly, and down to zero. There's no local populace of uh, Skaven, so it's going to keep up on the up and up. Uh, so I think the first things I actually need to do, sadly, are uh, build an old one mon monument, try and keep it happy. I don't have to do the obsidian. Which is a pity, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's just a pity. That's all that is. Um, also, gold mine. Gold mines are a bit of a gold mine, I say. Uh, it's not something that anyone says, Janet, what are you doing? Uh, do I go for the mine of bearded skulls, or do I go for them in the open field? Probably open field, so uh, come get me. 
He's running away. To fight another day, he's running away. And now he's going to die. He's running away. No, that, no. No, Janet, okay? We're not gonna, we're, we're not channeling Craig David in this campaign, okay? It's not how this works. Okay, what are we doing? Are we gonna fight this? Probably should, huh? Probably should. Probably should. This could be the last real fight that uh, Pestilence puts up. So, let's do it. Well, this is a pretty place. Yeah, we definitely want to definitely want to kick the rats out of this place. Too many shiny things. Too many too many shiny beacons and things. You know, you know they're being powerful. You know that's got some geomantic um thing going on. So, it's imperative that we uh, we keep it safe. Okay. And oh. It's a shame. They all start mixed up at the start of a fight. And you notice that? They all start mixed up. Mixed up again? Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, you lot uh, can actually all hang out in the back, I think. It really is the dinosaurs. Time to shine. Although, actually, let's do them separately. Good. That's right. Everyone run at different speeds. That looks kind of awesome, though, doesn't it? Until you kind of look that they're actually all in perfect lines of what's <clears throat> what species they are. It looks a bit weird. It looks quite cool when just a bit staggered. Okay, you guys are both going straight for Hell Kick. This one with the that is the one with Storm Vermin. Okay, cool. In that case, oh my God, come back here. Block them in, shall we? Of course they didn't last. What do you expect? Oh, he's suffering a bit already. Poor little lad. Love that, like, chirp noise they make. So cool. <laughs> T-Rex just casually. Ripping that guy to shreds, as you do, as you do. Uh, all right, charge the game, slave slingers, please. Federal cold ones, having a good time. Pocket pack cohort, living at large, chasing them down. Uh, there's still quite a lot of stuff back there, though. To be fair to the, uh, to be fair to the enemy. It's, uh, you know, it's not all really gravy. Uh, yeah, he's getting wrecked. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's a, just a ball of death right here. Look at this. Look at this. Imagine being in the middle of this. I mean, I really, the ones I feel sorry for the most are the Chameleon Skinks. Sorry, not the Chameleon Skinks, the, the Red Crest Skinks. Because, like, they didn't ask to be in here. I mean, look, look. That is not a safe place to be. That is just not safe. That is not safe. All right, how long do you expect you to last? Seriously. Oh, apparently quite a while, actually. That's surprising. That's surprising. Not oh, fair play. Fair play. Uh, okay, pocket pack cohort. Yeah, I want you to keep getting these clan rat spears. Oh, Stormwind with halberds are back. Are you kidding me? They got away. Oh my word. Come on. That's not okay. Uh, speaking of not okay, it's not okay this guy's still not shattered yet. Come on. Die already. Dude. Uh, well, we're getting through him anyway. No, none of that, please. Uh, let's just slow them down, shall we? Okay, they shattered. Alright, them next. Actually, them next. Okay, done? Nope, not done yet. Wow. What a hassle. And yet, they're all breaking, of course. It's fine. Not a problem. And, uh, you. You. Let's, let's get out with your barbs and, you know, do things. I don't know. Oh, maybe just chase them down. I really don't mind. 
Uh, that's Clan Rat Spears. There are some uh, Night Runners there, though. All right, now you... Oh, good, they're shouting. They're shouting. Come on. Come on, T-Rex. Okay, be like Mark Bolan and... Have a T-Rex? I don't know. Come on, boys. Yeah, man. <laughs> Pretty pointless. It's sort of a low leadership and thought, yeah, click him. Oh my god, Storm Vermin. What are you doing alive still? You absolute jerks. Oh, you're all the way over there, are you? There they are. I, I don't care. They're going to die. Go get him, guys. Go get him. Oh, except you, I guess. Yeah, there they go. Come on, T-Rex. Come on now. No, my lizard boys. Oh, space dinos. Poor space dinos. They never hurt anyone from this planet. Something tells me they did. They hurt a lot of people from this planet. Like, seriously, it's not even funny. Just, just blood everywhere. Blood everywhere. It's like Shia LaBeouf has been here. Okay, go on. Get him. Get him, lads. Go on, boys. Keep chasing them down. I know you enjoy it. Okay, so they're all shattered, but I don't think that's enough for me. Oh my god, why do you keep stopping? Oh, it's because you keep getting... You just keep knocking into the odd enemy, that's why. Okay, are you going to attack? Are you going to attack? Come on, keep attacking. Okay, good. Good. That's one thing that uh, Total War does, that uh, uh, no other strategy game really does, which is if you don't tell someone to do something, they don't. Like, there's usually, you have to sort of toggle that kind of behaviour with most strategy games, you know? Most RTSs, you have to be like, don't attack anything within range of you. Like, even if it's melee units, if there's an enemy nearby, they'll run at the enemy to kill them. You know? Well, this, no, you'll just have dinosaurs that literally just stand there and get shot in the face repeatedly, and they will do nothing. Which is fine when it's disciplined troops, when it's dinosaurs, you know, it's just like, come on, man. But also, uh, Rampage exists, so actually, they've thought of that, and that's kind of awesome, actually. You know, it's a good, uh, it's a good way to add some common sense to it, I guess. Because, you know, Warhammer, you want to be full of common sense. <laughs> That's a common sense thing, you know, having a bunch of uh, steampunk, uh, steampunk rats fighting dinosaurs in medieval times. It's it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a beautiful, beautiful mess. All right, there we go. Victory. Good job. Uh, now we can start. Um, I don't know whatever it is that we do here. It could be a summer home for Slan. I really don't know. But uh, the best thing is we can we can tidy it up a bit. Now the scaven out here, stinking up the place. Lovely. All right. So, uh, you know what? We didn't actually kill as many as I'd like there, frankly. We would like to have done more, but that's okay, I suppose. We're going to uh, kill and eat them, of course. You know, our dinosaurs are hungry. Oh, and good, we can't reach here, so that's good. Oh, and it looks like because they ran off. Yeah, they're dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, right, now, what do we want for you? Proud warrior, so that way we can actually start building him up a bit more like um, uh, like our other boys. Although, we should probably give him a cold one, shouldn't I? Oh, I hate that cost of skill point. It's just... Ugh, hate that. Can't sort of level 18, though. So it's probably, probably wise we give him a cold one now, so we can at least keep up with his dino friends, right? Yeah, whatever, it's one skill point. This guy's never going to be max level, it doesn't matter. Uh, right. Mind of the Bearded Skulls. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good chance of taking it out, apparently. Uh, I really see nothing in here that can threaten us in the slightest, so... Yep, let's fight it. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, similar, similar plan to last time, I think. We run at that gate. And, uh, you guys can run at that gate. Done. All right. Uh, then we wait, I suppose. You know what? You can actually move back. I don't like you guys getting shot at. It's, it's not very nice. Yeah, well, screw it. 
<laughs> just, just, just go. It's fine. Okay, how are you not looking? God, I love how they slink. I mean, look at that. It's so cool. Really scary. Cardassals are awesome. Really? Your tail? Oh, I guess. This makes most sense. Oh well. Uh, right, let's go over here. What's going on? Naughty boys. I hate naughty boys. Uh, speaking of naughty boys, uh, let's get our own in here, shall we? Uh, boop. It's just forcing them to react. They have to come back, you know. They have to come back to deal with them. Maybe just start capturing the middle if they're not going to bother uh, reacting to it, you know? They're probably going to get shot out, that's fine. What, it be? what are you guys doing? Oh, it's just the. It's just the lord. He's making them go weird. You seeing that? Like twitching like crazy? Uh, come on, guys. Alright, that's almost broken through. We can go straight for uh, uh, stun, stun Critch. Stunk Rich. Is it Stunk? Stunk Rich. Stunk Rich. That's <laughs> a great name. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, here come the dinos. Seriously, guys. You're embarrassing me. Come on. Uh, how are you not doing? You broken in yet? Oh, you have. You're just staring at him. Patient. Very patient. <laughs> oh, God. I love dinosaurs. They're so cool. So, yeah. Th I, this is what I needed. I needed a fun uh, a fun campaign like this. Uh, I don't even know what it is. It was, a, it was a heck of a break, right, between this and uh, the previous Total War campaign. I, I really needed just to give myself some time off. I'm doing two campaigns at once that both got a bit, like, that both got a bit tedious, honestly. Um, yeah, I just needed I just needed a break from Total War a bit, I think. Play something a bit different. So uh, I thought, well, let's go around playing Gorok. So, you know. But yeah. It's good to, it's good to be back. Just occasionally, you need to take a step back. Because what a lot of people don't realize is, like... Yeah, love this game, clearly. But I've been playing it basically non-stop for two years, so... Well, three years, basically. Since this game came out, and, uh... I mean, the whole life of my YouTube channel, I've been playing this game, so... Or at least this franchise. Pretty regularly. You know, I've had the odd break, of course, but, uh... Yeah, those breaks are really needed sometimes. Because, yeah, no one, no one can just play the same game for... You know, like... Three, four years without a break. I mean, flipping egg. Just unreasonable. Uh, come on. Kill him already. Kill him. Kill him. I like that he's got the cold one now, though. See, he agrees. That's what that meant. Uh, right. Pokapak cohort. Go charge to the back of there, please. You guys are finally free of your rampaging. Nice. About time. Alright, you guys deal with them. Uh,. Well, I think seems to be going okay over here. We lost our space dinos again. That's okay, though. That's okay. No one expected space dinos to, you know, to live there. But we couldn't leave them in space. I couldn't just leave them in space, guys. Couldn't just leave them in space. Okay, come on. Come on, guys. Oh, what are you doing there, little guy? Oh, what are you doing there? Did you get lost? Oh, you got to remember, they are just animals, guys. They are just animals. Brutal, terrifying, bloodthirsty animals. Herbivores, this one. Yeah, what are you thinking? Anyway, uh, yeah, good times. Good times. Uh, right, you guys, go. Go, 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 go. You get stuck in. You get stuck in. Oh, wow. General's actually leading the charge here. Oh, no, he's not. There's already a stake on here. They get around. They get around. Bloody pests. A lot of them, like pigeons. Just, you can't... No, you can't go anywhere without being like, oh, bloody stegodons again. Flipping heck, just look, it's, who's feeding them? Who keeps feeding these bloody things? Anyway, uh, right, come on. Come on now. Just, just break, yeah? There's really no need for you guys to still be fighting. Really no need. Really, you guys rampaged again? Oh, the pocket pack cohort ran off that way. My bad. Oh no, that's the Razor Dons. Either way, no point. Uh, army losses. Good. Good. 
Good job, lads. Good job. Proud of you. Yo, flipping stegodons, though. Alright, now let's get some space raptors. Okay. Your family has died to give you a new home. Okay? You live here now. You live here. Eat well. Much cleaning must be done. Good. Good raptors. Okay, so... Lovely. Let's, uh... Should we just take it? I think I'm just going to take it. I don't have to deal with rebellions here so much, because, uh... Yeah, this is natively Skaven, although it's actually still going up. Wow, just because of the characters. Yeah, we're not very good at removing the taint of these areas, apparently. Um, deary me. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that, actually. I'm going to get rid of that. And we'll get the happy place built. Uh, also, over here, yeah, we are under attack by uh, Mechanic Gear here. But our allies actually came and, came and took out one of the Skaven armies, which is very cool. Very nice to see. Uh, although, that just means that Loki is probably going to have a go at them. So, yeah, we need to bail them out. We need to bail them out. Also, what are the chances? Oh, not great odds, but surprisingly good, considering. Yeah, surprisingly good. The main problem is the storm vermin. Really. And I guess because... Oh, no, that's boil rut. Oh. Oh, damn. I think uh, I think Skull here. Or whatever army was there before. Oh, yeah, I guess it was him because he's injured, so... Um, but yeah, they seem to have taken out, um, uh, what's his face? You know, Skrulky Boy. Skrulky Pants. Skrulksaurus. Alright, I think we're good then. Um, can you get up here? Can you fight this army? That's the thing. It seems to be only slaves, but it might not be. If it's only slaves, I think we can deal with it just because the Blessed Chameleon Skins can literally use all their ammunition and kill thousands of them. Um, and the Paho Sentinels as well. The Croxigors, they're going to terrify stuff, you know. It, yeah, and we might be alright. We might be alright, but there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee. Although I guess, yeah, we do actually have better, better skinks than normal as well. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to risk it is the problem. Although, I also kind of want to risk it, so... Who is that? Hmm. Let's hold up. Let's hold up a bit, I think. I'll just wait there. I'll wait there. There's no rush. Uh, although, is there a rush for this? Yeah, we still have a couple turns. And we are about to build a gold mine. Although, that's going to take three turns. What are we actually going to do to gain us money in the next couple turns? Maybe take the blood swamps in a couple turns' time. Maybe. So I don't think we can actually afford to build anything just yet, especially because we are recruiting more Saurus warriors in the north as well. So I guess we can't do that. So, uh, Predatory Fighter next. Uh, we can get a Blade Master so we can hit a bit harder, because uh, his melee attack still is kind of rubbish day to day. So let's get it up by 12, and then he'll uh, he'll be a good duelist. Then we can start getting him some more abilities around there. We can also get him Rally so we can start moving towards standing ground. That would be very useful. Because uh, Spawnkin, no, not that one. Jungle Dominion, there we go, that's what we want. Or Saurus Warrior powers, because these guys are very close to all being rank 7. So that would be rather tasty. Ooh, Umbral Tide, tasty. I do like an Umbral Tide. Anyway, uh, yes, Croak as well, level 20, huh? Hello. Uh, hmm. Higher state of consciousness. I think that's what he unlocked at level 20, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a bunch of resistances there, but yeah, the 25% physical resistance is massive. Because, yeah, that's that's like having 50 armor. Well, an additional 50 armor. You know, unless you have, unless you're fighting anything with magical damage, because magical damage ignores physical resist, but... He's got even higher magic resist, so he mean, it means he'd be negating even more than uh, than if it was just a physical attack. So, And the ward save helps too, so it's very nice. Uh, very, very cool. Love it. Love it. And also, it's not exactly like having another 50 armor, but it's like having 50 armor if you're being attacked by something that did no armor piercing. So it's better than that, basically. It doesn't matter if it's armor piercing or not. It's, it's impenetrable armor. It's great. 
Uh, except magic, but again, that doesn't matter, because he's better at magic anyway. Uh, right, yes, so these guys will need to go down soon. We are getting some replenishment. Pretty good replenishment, actually, considering that it's a uh, uh, unpleasant climate. It's actually not bad at all. I'm actually kind of impressed. We did lose our, um, our uh, red uh, Crested Skinks, but I don't really care. I'm kind of cool with it, honestly, now that it's just slaves left, essentially. All right, okay, not all slaves. There are still a handful of storm vermin left, but it's only a handful of storm vermin left, so kind of cool with it. Um, but yeah, I don't think I can afford to spend money just yet, so I will get rid of that for now. It sucks, but I think uh, I think it's safer that way. I hope this place can hold out, though. Again, seems quite a cheap army, so maybe... Um, but I mean, is Quitax managed to fight off a bunch of stuff? I don't think Ultra the Horned Rat is going to be able to. Somehow. So, yeah. Gorok will have to come back and help very soon. But I'm not going to rush. I'm not going to rush. So, commandment available. Oh, good. Okay, yeah. Growth, public order. The works. You know the drill. And self and upgrades available. Yeah, but again. No. We are broke. Honestly, we could um, we could get rid of a bunch of our uh, we get rid of a bunch of our troops pretty soon, I think. Yeah, what is it? Military alliance. Uh, you know what? I'm thinking yes, because it's to Hanoin. Uh It might drag me into war with um, uh, with uh, with the uh, court of Libaris, but that is exciting, so I'm gonna do it. Um, so yeah, you you hold out there, mate. Also, shouldn't you be hunting down pestilence? I feel like we've been doing that with a little bit more gusto than him, you know? He's just been fighting the undead. Oh no, not with the plagues. I hate the plagues. I don't want my plague I don't want I don't want plague dinos, okay? So I really don't like how Tech is again under control. Uh, out of control rather. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight those orcs. You can deal with it. Luckily, Marcus Wolfhart's done nothing. It really is just all tactless. I think we we stopped a big obstacle of his, so he's been able to just sweep. So, yeah. Yeah, well. Because, yeah, I mean, we took out those these guys, basically. So he was able to just push up through all the ruins. Although, actually, it was some settlements there, but I'd wiped out the armies in the way, and at that point, yeah, he could just walk in. So, yeah, I think we might have to get rid of tactless. I I think he... He's got too much power in Lustry, and that's not okay. Okay, we, we forgave him being on the little outer islands, but now that he's taken a big chunk of Lustria, it's clear the elves are just after, you know, the old one's power. Hmm. It won't do. It won't do. Also, shush. Warm blood, so needy. Okay, so. Uh, wow, okay, our income's just plummeted again. Because of them, almost certainly. They're 200 each. Okay, yeah, that's a grand right there. Well, 800. Um, so, yeah, spreading plague sucks. Because now we have the plague. Which sucks. How long is this going to last? Seven turns. Oh, Jesus. And in Chanuapak. Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. Alright, guys. We're going to get crippled by this. I'm not even kidding. We are going to get absolutely crippled by this. This is real bad. Alright, you need to get over here and uh, wipe out... Just just wipe out Ikiklaw. Blood Swamps is all he has left. Okay. Raise it to the ground. And we'll be off. Oh my word. Yeah, this could be real rough real quickly. And this is going to be annoying. Ultra the Horn Rat will probably get taken out. I'll be another 500 down. So... Yeah, you, you can go. You're, you're going. And you head back that way. Okay, that garrison is able to fight things off. We, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, this is real rough. Real rough. So yeah, we've got to go with the plague um, thing. We've got to lower the chance of it spreading. Oh my god, it's here already. It affected the whole province. Oh no. Oh no. This sucks. Oh, that's suddenly a lot harder. Really? Why is that so much more difficult? No idea. But anyway, they're probably going to take that back. And we, we have dinosaurs with plague now. So, 
Do I charge? <laughs> Do I just charge? Uh, I might. Oh, the minus nine leadership is crippling as well. Um, all right, it'll take two turns. They're suffering a huge amount per turn, though. Yeah, at least like 2,000 hit points per turn. If this is how they die, then so be it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get in here and we're gonna we're gonna kill mechanic here. All right, that's how we roll. Come on, for whatever the for the old ones, I guess. I was gonna say for like whatever the Elizabethan equivalent of king and country is. Probably for the old ones, isn't it? Oh my god, you can't even reach there in a turn. You you failure of a lizard boy. Okay. He's on his way over there. Uh, so this is terrible, and I can't even use... Um, yeah, I, I can't even do anything about the plague there. So what I think I'll have to do... So we have it set up already. Okay, that does put our income up, though, sadly. Uh, we're going to have to put all of them in alignment of order. Okay, so that will lower the uh, plague duration for local armies by 30%, which is good. Is this local armies then? So it would actually be for that one. It doesn't say how long he'll be affected by it. So, I mean, it says seven there, but... I don't know. I don't know. Either way, we're... we're <laughs> Leroy Jenkinsing. And yes, we do have another rebellion here too. I mean, we've got rebellions everywhere. That's fine, though. That's fine. We're wiping out factions. That's the plan. That's the plan. Wiping out factions and then just like the rebellion factions. Who cares? Doesn't matter at that point. So we should be fine. So yeah, settlement upgrades available, but come on. What do you expect from me? Come on. Come on. Okay. It's spread. It's spread. It's spread to Quetzal. If it hits Itza, we are boned. It's going to be real bad because yeah... 50% of our income will be gone from it, sir. So we'll immediately lose another 1,400. Which is too much. It's too much. It's not okay. Not okay. Although, our income is going up, generally, which is nice. Um, Alright, blood swamps now, mate. Come on, get stuck in. Good, good. Uh, Alright, there's no one fancy here, so I'm just gonna... It's gonna auto-resolve it, frankly. Um... So I would sack and then raise, but I think I might just want to raise it to the ground so the faction's wiped out forever. Good boy. So, I don't suppose that'll get rid of the... No, no. <laughs> no, it won't. Um, I wasn't sure if maybe that they would be the ones propagating the plague, you know? But but no, no. Okay, so that's going to rebel. Everyone's going to rebel, guys. Don't worry about it. But we wiped out a faction, and that's the main thing. Good stuff. So, uh, ooh, I don't know. What next? What next? I mean, Fervent would be rather nice. Uh, but no, Rally, I think. And we'll get uh, Jungle Dominion. Because none of them are there yet. Close. Close, though. Very close. Uh, right, for you, laddie, uh, let's get Exorcism, maybe? Or actually, let's just get Deliverance maxed out. Might as well. There we go. So what level are you? 21. Wow. Okay, we're going to be able to get all of this remaining stuff and a bunch of the stuff down here, too. We'll probably get Ultimate Deliverance and all that luck, even though, um, you know, I rarely use things like that. It's It'll just be interesting to be able to blow up a city, you know. It'd be quite fun. Uh, <laughs> yes, blowing up cities. Quite fun. That's my review of that. Um, right. What are we doing now? I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. I don't like it. We're going to get attacked over here again. There's flipping Skaven everywhere, being jerks. Uh, he's still just attacking there. Oh, he hasn't moved yet. He hasn't moved yet. Should we go for Shotel first? Yeah, I think we will, actually. We'll go for Shotel first. He'll probably try and take that this turn. If he raises it to the ground, then we've wiped out his final, um, you know, his last uh, uh, settlement anyway. So, you know. And, oh, really, even forced march. You can't get there. Jeez hate that. Although I feel like we don't need him to babysit anymore, really. Although military presence is actually contributing 12. We just don't need all of this army. So actually, I could probably get rid of these guys and just keep the special ones. 
that I don't want to lose. There we go. I feel a lot better about a cash now, and let's actually upgrade this city. Because, yeah, things are going a little bit better, though we could still lose a ludicrous amount of income if this plague spreads. So, that is a problem still. Uh, can I upgrade this one too? Yeah, dirt cheap. Perfect. Because, yeah, the rebellion's going to be... Oh, hang on a minute. Did you... What? I think Loki has been helping us out here. We had a rebellion over here, and it seems that they just destroyed it for me. So the Altar of the Horned Rat that we took from Loki he is making sure that we keep, which is jolly lovely of him, I must say. Jolly lovely. Uh, also here, Ancient Harbor is a nice thing to put up, but no, I can't I can't keep spending money. I can't keep spending money. I need to I need to try and settle these guys down. Uh, that's nice and cheap too, and we need to keep putting up these slots. Because it does put up public order, I believe. Saying that, what is that? Public order... Okay, that doesn't go up at all. That puts up by one. So yes. Just that plus one public order is enough for me to want to actually... Um, yeah. Do that. Uh, right. Yes. Oh, I hope those dinosaurs make it there before they're too injured to do anything. I really do. So I'm not great available. Always. It's always the case. I... Yep. It's fine. I, he could probably take it. Oh, actually, no, he couldn't. He sucks. Good. There's still this rebellion, though. And that's got plague as well. Of course it does. Oh, my God. Flipping plague. I hate the plague. I hate the plagues. They're awful. Oh, I actually kind of love it. I think it's a really interesting mechanic because it really can cripple you. Um, like, plagues should feel terrifying. But the fact that I had two separate plagues set off in my territory at the same time is just brutal. Okay, so, join the war against the Awakened. Yeah, how about no? How about no, mate? How about no? Okay, Nostraldamus wants a peace treaty. I'm going to say no. And he's hiding again. Good. What? What do you want, Dastan Coldeye? Dastan Coldeye is declaring war on us. Oh, it doesn't like that I dipped my foot in the ocean. Is that him there? That is him there. What a douche. Yeah, fine. Whatever. Idiot. Alright, so, brilliant. This looks good. <gasps> so a Scar Veteran, finally! Because we never got around to actually recruiting any. And, oh my god, we're, we're earning money. That's weird. I don't like it. Uh, it feels very uncomfortable. Anyway, uh, those uh, the signs are clear. The Eternal War once again swerves in Lustrious' direction. Those that threaten to unmake the progress of the Great Plan gain power and prominence. Their designs must be countered. Do you wish to swell the Warrior's ranks or bring forth a Saurus or Skink hero? Uh, so that makes it... Yeah, recruitment cost down, and that just gives us a hero. I just want a hero. That'll, that'll do. Although he's only rank 1. Is that normal? Let's find out. Saurus Garvet should be rank 5. Okay. That was a waste of time. Thanks, game. I can't believe it spawns one that is that crap. Hero recruit rank plus two in the local province. <laughs> really? <laughs> so now I can get a level seven one. <laughs> Alright. That's nuts. Or I can even get a slightly better skink priest, even though I can't usually do that. And hero recruit rank plus two. Oh my god. Really? Holy cow. Okay, well, I can't spend all of my money on heroes just yet, but that is sick. I love it. That's so cool. I didn't know that was a that was a trait that these guys had. But, God, having these guys just loiter in the same province for ages while I recruit everything is hilarious. Uh, right, let's go with... I don't know, actually. What do we want? Uh, I mean, training is great to have, frankly. So let's get that up. Oh, twice. Yeah, sure. And then Poetry Fighter and uh, Blade Master. Good. Very nice. And we also recruit a hero, so we've got some more ancient plaques. Lovely. Uh, carry out a successful hero action. Yeah, you head over. Actually, don't head over there. I'll probably be recruiting someone else in a minute, so sit tight. <laughs> sit tight, mate. Sit tight. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so this sort of sucks. Um, I don't know what the state of Shotel's going to be. But turning up with a bunch of plague dinosaurs is probably the most metal thing anyone has ever done. 
Seriously, turning up at someone's gates with like a stack of plague dinosaurs? Come on. How sick is that? Freaking awesome. So uh, I just want to get my bearings a second. Because we are actually getting close to the hour mark. And I have gone well over the hour mark. Most episodes of this series, frankly. So, um, you know. Okay, let's get you back to Fuming Serpent. Oh, you're going to go that way. Oh, really? So you're still going to suffer attrition? That's, that's that's dumb. That's dumb, Gorok. That's dumb. Uh, anyway, that's fine, I guess. It'll do. Uh, okay, so this place is unhappy, but it's not rebelling yet. Loki here is all over the shop, but it looks like it looks like our boys here are keeping them keeping them away. I'm amazed they don't want to confederate, considering I'm strength rank four and they are forty nine. Um, yeah, bizarre, bizarre, and they still want to confederate with me from there, which I think I might take them up on their offer fairly soon. I'll probably take these two settlements and then do it. I think that would be good. So that's the land. No, no hint of confederation. Don't want any of it. Or you, which isn't surprising. Uh, we haven't met Crocgar yet. It would be nice to go meet Crocgar as well. Would be quite cool. Hmm. Yeah, Quartal Ibaris, I think we're definitely going to play a war on. I just think they're going to be... They're going to be really fun to fight, frankly. Just... Just hordes of skeletons with Lord Croak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's gonna be, it's gonna be spicy. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it here, and we're gonna try and uh, finally defeat Skrog with our Dino Army, which I just think is hilarious. The idea of Ratok here, um, just deciding, you know what? I'm just gonna get all the wilds, right, off the jungles, and we'll teach him a thing or two. Come on, boys, and he's taken over like <laughs> this huge swathe. You know, this is like this is a similar legend to Sotek. Sotek, you know, bring all the skigs to not Sotek, uh, to Hedowin. You know, bring everyone under the banner of Sotek to to take out you know pestilence. Bring all the skinks under his banner, and then the serpents of the jungle helped him, and all the rest of it. No, this is just him being like, well, I've got a bunch of pet dinosaurs. I reckon I can. Uh, I reckon I can kill some rats. And everyone like, it can't be done, Ratok. And he was like, it can be done. I'll show you. Then they got the plague, and now he's coming at him with a vengeance. You know, there is pets. There is pets. This isn't okay. So, um, look out, Skrulk. So, guys, uh, okay, that is too loud. The stink is too loud. So I'm going to go over here. Oh, that's nice. Just bird chirping. Perfect. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.